Hello again. Back to a spot today that I've only ever used once actually, but uh, it is a lovely mixed woodland here. I've had acorns dropping on me, walking in, <laughs> being pelted at, but uh, it's a lovely day. I think it's meant to rain today, but the skies are pretty blue. There's still a coolness in the air in here in the woodland. Um, yep, I'm going to set up first, because uh, there's plenty to do. And um, a little later we're going to cook some food, courtesy of HelloFresh. So uh, that'll be a nice easy one for me. And uh, then all your usual wood prep and everything. A little bit of wind in the air. But I'd say the perfect camping day, really. Here's a blast from the past, the old Lux Hex Peak. I have not used this tent in so long. Um, I haven't even used a uh, teepee tent in a while, to be honest. But uh, this does pack down smaller. It's got the inner in there as well, which I never used to use all that much. But um, there is a lot of wood ants in here. <laughs> so I knew that coming in. Well, I'm a silly billy. Been so long since I've used the hex peak, I forgot that it doesn't have its own uh, pole, well, unless you buy it separately. Uh, you're supposed to use a uh, hiking, trekking pole with it. So, I'm going to have to cut one a bit longer than I think. What is this twiddle? <laughs> and um, yeah, cut it down as needed, basically. So, just got to find something straightish. Plenty of dead birch in here. Just redone the pegs as you tend to have to once you put the pole in just to get everything perfect and got a pretty good pitch actually. I forgot how much room you can kind of get for ventilation under there which isn't a problem because um, there's a bathtub in the inner as well. Um, yeah, good to see the old go out. I actually forgot what a hassle this inner is, especially when you haven't done it in a long, long time. It's a bit weird. But uh, I think I've kind of finangled it good enough at least. I think I'm going to have to uh, get a little practice with this in the garden on some nice flat ground and some of the tie outs and bits are missing as well. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> at least that's done. Sleep system. Well that's that all done. Came over really overcast while I was doing that. I was thinking at least the tent's actually up. Could just chuck the bag in if I need to. Now I'm quite lucky actually because I've got some wood from the last camp here that didn't get used so um, not so much wood prep to do which is good because kind of not getting used to these earlier nights drawing in and um, was out the same sort of time I've been going out over summer so I 
yeah, I need to get the hang of that and get out a bit earlier. Um, yeah, so just got to collect up some wood ready for cooking. There's a lot of oak in here that looks really punky on the outside but is really solid in the middle. Ooh, still a little bit warm to be honest. I mean it's cool but uh, doing all of this makes you warm. <laughs> yeah, it gets overcast here and there and the wind is blustering up there but I can't really feel it down here. Wood's prepped. There's a couple of rocks I'm going to collect for the fireplace. I've actually got two of the um, lanterns. I've one was with my camera gear and uh, we're nearly there. It takes a while all this. <laughs> Just about ready now. Might go look for a little uh, birch bark just to get the fire going. The ground is quite damp here. Don't know if that's from all the rain or from when I extinguished the fire which was in the same spot last time, we'll see. But yes, already these rocks were, they're non-native but they were over the far end of the woodland so 
thought I'd use them. A load of birch bark off a couple of different stumps. All prepped, I think. Quite looking forward to getting in this tent. It's been way too long. Good couple of years. Um, yeah, I think I can actually sit and chill and watch the wind through the trees for a little bit before getting the uh, fire going. Ooh. I might have a brew. We've even got a new stove, well not stove, but a pot rested to dry out. So this is the eggs boil. I've been after something exactly like this. Uh, this is from Outdoor Gear Essentials. They sent it over to me, which is very nice of them. And um, yeah, it's just a pot rest really, but super thin, super light, and uh, super simple. Stove just goes in the middle, and they got these little peg things if you want to use something smaller than an actual uh, pot, like my cup. Fuel it up. By the way, this is not the same fuel as in the lanterns. It's just the same container. The other one's got a pee on it for paraffin, just in case you're sort of starting out and learning. I really should have picked off all this um, backing to the birch bark, but uh, I'm just going to bung it all on and just light it with a match. It'll all take eventually. Get some of this on. She's a little smoky, but she's getting there. That was a ton of birch bark. There's a ton of um, dead birch behind me there in that area of the woodland. Very convenient. But yeah, relax in front of the fire for a bit now. Oh, the smoke's starting to dissipate. That's nice. <laughs> Fire's going good and the uh, sun is going down behind the trees now, giving off a nice glow. Now, when you have a YouTube channel of a certain size, you get nothing but um, offers for sponsorships. And most of these companies are, are nonsense and games and stuff like that, and I would never do any of that. But uh, the one company that I do do is HelloFresh because I do use them, <laughs> genuinely, and I do think they, they do work really well. If you don't know what they are, it's like a subscription service. You can opt out at any time. It's not one of them ones you can't, or you can't find the option on the website or whatever. But um, it's really good for weekday meals, I think, where you can just select how many people, select a few meal kits, they get delivered. Um, there's like ice in the box. And um, yeah, it's just them weekday meals you don't have to think about. You get home, you've got everything there and you've got a fresh cooked meal. Love it. They've got tons and tons and tons of uh, menus as well. Now, I'm going to be doing 
cheesy chipotle bean quesadillas tonight. Now this is something very similar to something I do and have been doing for a while. I actually did a video recently for this kind of, um, kind of amps it up a little bit <laughs> on top of what I normally do. Now, because of the sponsorship and um, because a lot of you guys seem to like it, um, they've said a lot of you guys have signed up. They've actually given me an offer. There'll be a QR code or link in the description as well. I'm gonna read it here. It's 60% um, off your first box. So, you know, <laughs> that's some cheap food. Uh, plus 25% of the next two months, plus free gifts. That's a pretty good deal. <laughs> um, you get things like chocolate bars and um, soft drinks, stuff like that. Sometimes there's the um, free gifts. Now the code is uh, 2023 Kent. That's all uppercase on the screen now, I'm sure. Future Andy. But uh, yeah, thanks to them for sponsoring. Um, something I do think is a good product. I've not gone for one of the more luxurious meals this time. A simple one, great for camping. And because um, it's something I do already, I really like it. Now you probably noticed I've got a slate by the fire there warming up. That's hopefully gonna toast off my uh, quesadillas. We shall see. Stage one here, super simple. Got some kidney beans in a bowl here, and I'm just gonna roughly squash them just with the back of a fork because it's what I've got. <laughs> I'm just finishing grating some cheese into this mix, nearly there. Can't really do the last bit on this little grater. <laughs> this is where it varies from my recipe. First, we got some tomato paste, then some lovely chipotle. Add chipotle to anything, it makes it great. <laughs> Central American spice mix. There's supposed to be honey as well, but um, I don't think I packed so well. <laughs> it says you can add salt and pepper as well to taste. Give this a nice mix. Get it evenly spread. And make up our quesadillas, tacos, whatever you want to call them really. Just fill in half. A little bit more. Give that a fold over, bit of a squish, get it even, and on to the second. There is more than this. <laughs> this is a two person portion. <laughs> Finger beauty. <laughs> I didn't make the last one, I just overstuffed a couple of others. It is just me. Just going to uh, chop this tomato up. All into tiny pieces. It's a garnish after all. That's all mixed in with a bed of uh, rocket. Not all of the rocket. <laughs> Some of the rocket. And this is the balsamic and olive oil glaze. I've lightly oiled this, so hopefully, oh, I can hear a sizzle. Yeah. Gradual heat, I've uh, slowly warmed that stone up. Ooh, yeah. Check that out for a meal. <laughs> I am looking forward to this. 
I suppose I should start off with the greens. Mm. Love a bit of balsamic. Okay, these are probably still quite hot. Should have gone with one of the ones that come off first. Mmm. They've got a bit of a kick. I guess if you don't want the kick, you could not put all the chipotle in, but oh, it's hot. Mmm. <laughs> skip lunch again so this is very much needed and I think I'm gonna finish it all I tried but I couldn't quite do it <laughs> and it wasn't even the full two portions Let's talk a bit of a tingle on the tongue There's a more filling than I thought it would be that but I just remembered I've got a neck oil to wash it down. So, cheers everyone. That cheers of the week. Oh, I love this stuff. <laughs> neck oil, come and sponsor me. <laughs> That'd be good. Just threw some more wood on the fire. <coughs> Keep that going for a bit of a brew before bed. Early one tonight. Oh, yeah. Well, like I said, it's an early one tonight. Got to get up early. <laughs> I'm pretty tired. Just got back from a trip to Newcastle and a couple of stops on the way back. Still feeling it, so uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning. A little bit of a chill this morning, but I wouldn't say cold to be honest. I was up a bit earlier, maybe up an hour now. Sun is up, and uh, I don't know if you can hear that, but there's, I don't know, beech nuts, acorns, everything falling up the trees. <laughs> it was a pretty peaceful night, quite light actually, with the moon out once it kind of got up but um, yeah, all is good uh, just to do a bit of prep for some breakfast got a new stove <laughs> and 
might sit here for a minute and just enjoy the peace. Unless I get hit on the head by an acorn. The new stove is in here. There's a few bits to it. Well, in fact, there's three bits to the main stove. And it goes together just like the other one with the little slots. You can see how thin it is and how light it is. Got a metal plate you can put on different levels for different uses. Obviously a bit thicker steel than the rest. I assume steel. Really wanted a fire pit a bit like this for a, a little while. I've been looking and I didn't know about this. This is Outdoor Gear Essentials selling it again. Um, got a pot rest as well, which is cool. Got a grill. And you can use them pegs I used with the other x boil to put through the holes to hold trangers, however you want to use it. Or you could move that shelf up, use it how you want. But I wanted a, a very lightweight fire pit to have longer fires in um, when I'm on very lightweight camps. So uh, we'll have to see how this holds up. have to break down some of this a bit big for a little fire pit Burning pretty good. A lot of ventilation in that, oh, that's for sure. I wanted something big enough that you could use like a fire pit, that you're not constantly feeding. You can put with this a bit bigger in there. And um, yeah, I think this could do the trick. We'll uh, see how it holds up to the heat. Got a touch of oil in the pan here. I'm just gonna put in some black pudding to start off. I'll get that uh, trivet thing on the um, stove and get going. This is some beautiful smoked bacon friend got from a farm. Taken out the two bits of wood that were actually still on fire, 
and I'm going to try and see if on these coals I can get a bit of toast going. Ooh, nice. Eggs ready. Might break that up a little bit, get that yolk spread about. Black pudding. And some bacon. Taking the jacket off because I was getting a bit warm by the uh, fire there. Just stoked it back up just in case I want to brew in a minute. But uh, toasted really well actually. Mm. I've had some of this bacon already and it is beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. Just uh, make it a bit more stable with that grill. Oh, that's good. The sandwich was nice. Just packed full of flavour, the black pudding, that smoky bacon. Beautiful. Fire pit's just burning down now. I'm going to leave it to cool down and inspect it, I guess. See how it's held up. Looks fine. <laughs> It's cool to the touch now, and well, surprisingly flat the uh, base. And these should, yeah, all metal will warp to a degree, so these are going to want to warp to the shape when they're heated. But it'll, it's it's thin metal, it's fine, absolutely acceptable. Even the grill with that fine mesh has done pretty well. I'm happy. I'll uh, link this stuff in the description. I'll carry on testing and um, do like a proper review. That's me all packed away now. Really wasn't too much stuff to pack away, so it didn't take long to be quite honest. Um, looking a bit overcast at the moment, but my walk isn't too far today. Um, thanks again to HelloFresh. All of you check out the link below. It really is a great offer you can opt out at any point but it's definitely worth a try and uh, i'll also link the stove in that below as well thanks for watching and i'll uh, see you all on the next one goodbye i'm still here